You probably might not know this, but because everything has a temperature, everything emits light. Like this ball. But turning off all other sources shows it doesn't seem to emit light at all. Light or electromagnetic waves are very diverse and come in all sizes or wavelengths, but our eyes are unable to see most of them. There is also something called frequency which is the number of times the wave jiggles in a second, and multiplied by the wavelength gives the speed of the wave. The speed of light is a universal constant which means that more the wavelength less the frequency. Now because of its relatively low temperature, the ball is emitting light at a wavelength called the infrared, which our eyes cannot see. But infrared light can be detected by instruments and this is how some night vision cameras work. They detect the infrared light emitted by objects due to their temperature. Things with different temperature emit light at different wavelengths. Hot objects emit light at lower wavelength or high frequency, which means the wave is jiggling fast and has more energy. Which makes sense because hot objects should have more energy. This is also how on heating objects they start emitting light at a wavelength which starts to become visible to us. Our eyes, though being able to see only a narrow range, does have an awesome way to distinguish the different wavelengths which it can see. It does this through color. With red having the longest wavelength, that is the least energy, and blue having the shortest wavelength, that is the highest energy and everything else in between. What does all this have to do with stars? Stars are hot and their temperature corresponds to wavelengths which our eyes can see. Stars come in different colors and we now know that the blue ones are hotter and the red ones are cooler. So what's the deal with the size of stars? In 1910, two guys called Hertzsprung and Russell tried to see if the size of stars had anything to do with the color. They found that most stars follow this very neat pattern, with the blue hot stars being bigger and the red cool stars being smaller. A little more knowledge on nuclear physics tells us why this happens. Most stars in their course are fusing hydrogen to helium which is their main source of energy and hence the temperature. This fusing can only happen once the conditions inside are hot enough due to high pressure of the material forming the star. The bigger more massive stars have more material and hence more pressure and hence a bigger core which is producing more energy leading to a higher temperature and making it bluer. The blue stars are about 10 times hotter than red stars and 100 times bigger. But don't worry team red, blue doesn't get more of everything. Because blue stars use more hydrogen they also die out faster and there are also way fewer of them. I guess there is a plus side of being small. 